What's up everybody? Got another mod tutorial for you. Uh this time it is Zan's minimap. Um a lot of people uh used to request this. Um I haven't had much uh recently, but I like this mod, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So of course, as always, I will show you what the mod is in case you don't know what it is and how to use it. So when you first come in to the game after you install it, there'll be like a little menu that pops up on the top, uh, like above your screen, and it'll just tell you uh, how to open up your menu and stuff. So as you can see, it adds a map up in the top right-hand corner, and it just basically shows your entire world. Now some of the options to open up your menu, you just hit M. And then you can do display coordinates, you turn that on and off, and that just turns this little uh, coordinate thing on and off. Uh, you could hide your minimap, like say you're going to do a let's play and you don't want the minimap showing, you can just turn it off. Um, dynamic lighting, this is so if it's daytime, uh, it'll be brighter, and you get the point, if it's nighttime, it's darker. It's darker. Uh, terrain depth, it just shows... Um, actual like depth and terrain uh, I'm pretty sure it's the darker the thing is the um, the higher up it is and then you have you could turn it into a square map uh, that one if you turn it into a square map you could see more of the map and then the welcome screen on and off like I said you could turn that off um, if you don't want to keep seeing the welcome screen Threading, I do not know what that does. Um, coloring just makes your map all weird. I don't even know why they put that in there because it just turns it completely gray. Nether points, again, I'm not sure what that one does either. Uh, cave map, I like this one a lot because it shows you exactly where caves are below you. You can see all the dark spots. And then waypoints. You could add, just click on add, and then type in whatever name you want the waypoint to be called. And then hit enter, 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 and then it'll put a waypoint and when you walk away the waypoint will stay there and once the waypoint goes off the map it will turn into an arrow pointing to where it's at and then another cool feature is you can zoom in and out on the map so you can see now it's zoomed really far out and it'll tell you the zoom level up in the top left hand corner and then if you keep pressing it it'll turn into just a complete map over your entire screen. Press it again and it goes back to normal. So that is it. That is um, what the mod is. Really simple, but it's also uh, really helpful. So yeah, that's what it is and I will now show you how to install it. But first I need to clean out my Minecraft jar. So after I do that, I will show you how to install it. Alright, I cleaned out my Minecraft jar and I will now show you how to install the mod. Um, you will need uh, WinRAR, and I will put the link in the description to download WinRAR. So, to download Zan's Minimap, I will give you the link to this page. And you're just going to scroll down past this until you get to here, and just click on Download 0.10.6c. And it should save to your desktop or wherever you choose to save it and I already had it on my desktop so you see it put it up here now to install this what you're going to want to do is so you're going to come here type in percent app data percent then open up your roaming folder go into your dot minecraft open up your bin and open up your minecraft jar do open with winrar 
archiver or archiver. You don't need this open anymore, so you can go ahead and close that. And just drag this to the side, then open up your Zans minimap mod, drag it to the side. Take your uh Lauren folder and just drag it over. Hit OK. And it'll add it to all these folders. Then you highlight these two classes and drag them over. Hit OK. Now you can close this because you're done with that. Now, if you see a folder called Meta Inth, just like this, go ahead and click on it, then right click it and do Delete Files and hit Yes. Um, you always want to delete that because if you don't, it'll stop your mod from working and it'll actually stop Minecraft from working completely and it'll make it black screen. So, that is how to install Zan's Minimap. Um, I hope this helps out and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.